Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Saturday, May 8th, 2021. Um, we have some exciting stuff to talk about. I have a nice quote that I think is very meaningful. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about some stuff that I just did literally about 20 minutes ago. It's already almost 4 o'clock on a Saturday. How is that possible? Um, but I do have a nice quote and I think that the quote is very meaningful. And my head is cut out of the frame, so I'm going to move this back. There you go. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> um, I'm excited to share the quote with you. I'm excited to share some personal stuff with you um, and just in general. So let's get on to it. So the quote today is, um, doing nothing is a decision. Doing nothing is a decision, you know? You saying, I don't want to do anything. I want no involvement in that. Um, I choose to stay out of it. I choose to not do this. I choose not to involve myself in this because you know it's for your own benefit, that's okay. It's okay to do absolutely nothing about the situation because you believe that that's okay. Um, I've been saying this like all week to people, but like seriously, it's a, um, it's a big deal to come out and say that you don't want to be associated or be a part of something and, um, I have so much more pride in the people who are willing to tell me no and willing to say I want no part in this than those who go along with it because they want to fit in. And again, makes me sound hypocritical. A lot of these make me sound hypocritical because it's true because there are times before I learned that I needed to take pride in myself and take time for myself and say, you know what, this is not right. I'm not involving myself in this. There were times where I said, you know, I'll get involved because I want to fit in and that was not what my morals were, my ethics, and um, I've learned since then not to partake in things that I don't feel comfortable in or safe in or feel like I would be judged in if I disagreed with, but I, I've, as I've gotten older, I've learned to not care. Um, why care about what other people think? Like... It's, they have their opinions, I have mine, and we're sometimes going to agree and sometimes disagree, but I shouldn't let that be the reason that I feel like I have to be something else, or say no to something, and be criticized, so. Plus, like, I'll be classified as a senior in, like, a week, when all the seniors leave, so. Um, or when their last, their last day is the 14th, they graduate the 19th, um, 18th and 19th, but still. Anyways. Um, don't feel like um, say, doing nothing is not a solution because it is. Doing absolutely nothing is a solution in some cases and you just have to, it's just how it is sometimes. So, all right, we're back to TikTok corner and, um, oh, I gotta send an email out today. Shoot, not important, but we're back to TikTok corner. I saw this on TikTok like 20 minutes before I was gonna film this. And, um, it's, it's a shirt that a, a middle-aged man who has a daughter, by the way, which everybody knows that, like, if father-daughter bonds, if they're, uh, stable and, and, and loving and, and caring and, like, you're, like, close with your, your father, um, you know, the, the, this is a whole big joke, though, but it was, like, rules for dating my daughter. One, get a job. Two, understand I don't even like you, even if you're nice. Three, I'm absolutely everywhere. Four, you hurt her, hurt her, I hurt you. Five, if I tell you be home at midnight, be home, thir be home at 11.30. Six, get a lawyer. Seven, if you lie to me, I will find out. Eight, she's my princess, not your conquest. And not nine, I don't mind going back to jail for her. And ten, whatever you do to her, I do to you. Hit a little close to home, man. So if you want to see that... But, like, I saw this and I was like, this is something that my dad needs to get. Like, I'm not, so I'm not dating anyone or doing anything right now. But, like, in the near future, if I ever decide, like, to date somebody or date a guy or just date in general, like, I t told my dad, I said, you're going to be the guy that has that. And then he added on and he goes, I'm going to be the guy that also is standing out front with a pamphlet that says how to reload a shotgun. And I was like, dad. He's like, well, there's nothing wrong with that, but... Um, I can see he's looking out for me even though I haven't even dated 
and I could see it. I could see the fear in his eyes anytime I mentioned like meeting somebody or getting together with a guy. I like, when I get together with a girl, I care less what I'm doing. But for whatever reason, if I if I decided like, um, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a date with so and so, or which hasn't happened, but he his eyes turn into fear, and I can tell how much he like loves and, and cares for me, and I appreciate it. You know, sometimes he's an ass, but he does love me in, in the end. Um, so yeah, so all my ladies watching, um, tell your dad to get that shirt. <laughs> if you really want it, that to happen, you know? Um, and then there's one more thing I found. So, uh, let's see. What else was it? I think that might have been it that was in the camera roll. Um, but I, before I filmed this as well, um, I helped my neighbor. My neighbor was, um, he's very sweet older man, older gentleman, and he wanted to surprise his wife because tomorrow is Mother's Day. So he decided that he wanted to go all out for her. Um, so he asked me to come over, so I came over for a bit, and we made a rough draft of what he wanted to post, and with some pictures. And so I helped him put some pictures out and describe them with captions and emojis and just typing it. So he had like a whole proverb for her from the Bible, and like a whole little personal speech. It was so adorable to me. And I was like crying holding his phone writing it. Cause he didn't want to like, he was telling me, he's like, I, I, I don't know, really, really text that often. He's like, I type like this and I have a stylus. And he didn't bring a stylus. I'm like, I'll type it, type it. It's no big deal. Um, so I typed for him and it was like the cutest thing ever because I was re, I was just looking like, pretend this is not his thing. Like I was looking over at this and this is the phone and I was like typing it and I'm like, He's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, this is so adorable what you're doing for her. And she's so lucky to have you as a husband. And I was telling him, I'm like, I hope that in the near future, when I decide to date, that I eventually come to a point where I meet somebody that I can call my potential husband and I can cry over this stuff when we, we get together and, you know, possibly have kids and or just anything and just have someone who's so supportive of me and so loving and so caring and so um, willing to go out of his way to make my day special and so I hope that that's the turnout for me in the end and he's like he's like Grace you will find it I mean I don't think your dad wants you dating right now at 17 I'm like you know, I told him the whole like, thing of my dad being scared of everything and um, he's like but just know that you know you will find somebody out there who loves you and cares for you and if they treat you like Rap, I will be right behind your dad's corner and you'll have two people. And I was like, oh my god, I love my neighbors. I love them so much. They're so sweet and they're an older couple and it's just, it was so, it's so sweet to see that I get to be a part of the planning that he wanted for her and so she has no idea. She is at a beauty appointment and by beauty appointment I mean it's a hairstylist thing he said. Um, so he dropped her off and they had a little brunch this morning. And Mother's Day is tomorrow, but he was like, yeah, I'll just do a little brunch today. And so it was the sweetest, and I love it. Um, so it was really cute, and it's special. And so I just saw the post on Facebook. Um, I post We posted that about 30 minutes ago, and I was like the first like, and I commented. I'm like, happy Mother's Day, because he didn't want to save it. I told him, I said, you could save it in a draft. He's like, I don't know if I would get it out of the draft, and I don't want to destroy it. So he posted it today, um, and he's holding on to her phone. He's like, she's like, I don't see why I can't have my phone. He's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to be together most of the day tomorrow. Anyway. All his grandkids are coming over tomorrow. His uh, his daughter-in-law, his son, his son-in-law, and then his other daughter. So they're all coming over to celebrate with, with them. And all of them are in on this big surprise. He told me that um, it's really special and really sweet. So... I love being next to my neighbors. I could talk about him and how how kind he is every day, but we just don't have the time for that. But he's the absolute sweetest neighbor. Um, yeah, so it was nice to be part of that. The other thing that I wanted to mention was that, like I said, it is Mother's Day tomorrow. So hopefully all y'all kids out there watching this, you know, you find some way to honor your mom. I know that 
this year it's kind of this year it's a little bit better with us being vaccinated and stuff it's not a hundred percent but um most of us now when we see each other we don't like with my close family they said as long as you're fully vaccinated and they're fully vaccinated you don't have to wear masks so we're all i'm the only time i'm mask maskless is around um my grandparents and stuff and that's the only time um around them and around my uncle and my aunt because they're fully vaccinated now um so when i see their family i'm always i'm just have it off but when i was with my neighbor today for example um he is only he's vaccinated but he's half vaccinated and so just to be safe like i did with my grandparents when i was half vaccinated i wore a mask because even though i'm vaccinated um i just i just want to be safe for him so I did that, and when I go in public and I see friends and, and other things, I still wear a mask because I don't know if people are vaccinated or not. Um, there's a slow surplus right now. We just went to get my second one on Wednesday, and the nurses were mentioning how they're starting to see a slow, like, steady rate of, like, they're having a surplus amount left over at the end of every day. Um, for Because now we're at this time period with people who, who refuse to get vaccine, vaccinated or those who are hesitant about getting the vaccine. And... Um, it's, it's not my place to mention it, but, like, the fact that we, you have a vaccine available and eligible, if you're eligible for one, um, it's a huge deal because you're contributing to yourself, you're helping yourself stay safe, and you're helping others, and, um, you know, everybody's different on their own opinions, and everybody has their own opinions about vaccines and vaccinations, and, vax versus anti-vax and all that stuff but this really is if we want to get out of this pandemic the only way to do that is to achieve herd immunity which is 80 percent of the entire population of the united states has to be fully vaccinated meaning there are two doses or johnson and johnson's case one dose um so whether you get moderna or pfizer or johnson and johnson just getting vaccinated does your part to achieve herd immunity to have somewhat of a normalcy as we continue because Let's be honest, we all hate this, right? We hate being remote. Well, some of us. Um, you know, we hate we hate not being able to do certain things. We have to wear a mask every single place we go. And it's just the little things about the mask. I was just telling my English teacher this and she was talking with me yesterday. It's the little things about covering your nose to your chin that you can't even recognize your students anymore. You see them remotely, you could see their entire face because they're not in person. The minute they come in person, it's like they're you're like they say hi to you, they're like, hi, Miss Gagliardi, for example, oh, I should have, should have probably not said her name, but like, for example, like, hi, Miss Gagliardi, and they, they look at you and they're like, oh, are you one of my students? And it's just this little thing that takes away from so much, and so I think that seeing the remote helped, but also the fact that I had, just for example, having Miss Gagliardi last year helped her recognize me again this year. But there are people she's had for the first time this year who she has no clue who they are, like, at all. And it's 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 hard to, to picture that. Um, but this entire, just, just, the whole point, the whole point of the story is that, you know, if you can get vaccinated, do your part. I know that Pfizer is trying to come out with trials and do stuff for 12 to 15 now in hopes that they can get those kids vaccinated. So that now you can have 12 and up vaccinated with Pfizer. And then they're also doing trials on uh, two to six month olds. So those kids can get vaccinated. So you're trying, they're trying to get a range of people. Now, obviously, um, trials have not started for two to six months. But the goal, too, is that how, how many people can you get vaccinated? Because now with, pe with older people, it started with essential workers in group A and teachers and all those people getting their vaccines. So now that they've gotten their vaccines, you know... Who's le where's the virus left to travel? Well, now you're left with people who refuse to get vaccinated or wear a mask in public, and then you're left with these kids. So now you're left with, with a infant to 18-year-old, well, not infant to 18-year-olds where it's traveling to who won't get vaccinated, and the kids who, who aren't, aren't eligible to get vaccinated. So um, with stuff happening, when kids become vaccinated, are eligible to become vaccinated at 12 and up, now 12 and up are eligible for vaccination, and then you got two to six months olds. Now what about the seven month olds to 11 year olds? Like what about them? And that's where my, my cousins fall in. My two cousins are six and eight. Um, 
no, I'm sorry, five and eight. <laughs> so they're five and eight. So my biggest worry for them is, okay, well, they're not, one of them is required to wear masks in school, the other one is not. So the five-year-old is not required to wear a mask, but the eight-year-old is. So my biggest fear now is, okay, now you're in a room with all these these kids, and one of one of their teachers has mentioned that they're, like, anti-vax, um, but they still wear a mask. But the other one is, is vaccinated and doesn't wear a mask around them anymore, or one of those queer masks. And so my biggest fear is, one of them now is going to get COVID, or the, the five-year-old will get COVID and then transfer it to the eight-year-old because um, of just the situations we're in. And this, this, but yeah, everything is just up in the air. And um, I just, I have so many opinions. I have many opinions and I don't want to get into it, but <laughs> if you can get vaccinated, do your part and get vaccinated. You're really helping yourself, and you're helping those around you in the community. As much as I want to go out, and I want to take my mask off in public, and I want to party, and I want to eat with my friends, and chill out in big social gatherings, it is not safe. Unless you are fully vaccinated, and I am fully vaccinated, which I am, I refuse to take my mask off around you. Seriously. I know three people who are of my friends, friend circles, and I have a lot of friend circles, who are fully vaccinated that I see consistently that the CDC says it's affirmative, meaning I can. So because the CDC said that it's affirmative and I can, I take my mask off around those three people because they're fully vaccinated, I'm fully vaccinated, and even then, I, we, still, we still keep ourselves six feet. We're fully vaccinated with our masks off, but we do sit six feet from each other. So we're still being safe. Now with my other friends who are not vaccinated, I still wear a mask around them. I wear a mask around them because I don't know, even if they're half vaccinated. It's just, it's just about playing the cards right and being safe and being cautious to get back to somewhat of a normalcy. I know that many seniors who's here, uh, high school seniors, you know, a lot of their opportunities were taken because of this and because vaccines were being rolled out, you know, um, in, in October, November, December, it kind of took away from the point of getting kids, like the opportunities they wanted first semester. So second semester is really all about seniors um, and then the facts, the other thing too is, you know, just, yeah, but yeah, pretty much. So I could see that that, and last year, class of 2020 really didn't get anything because it was just starting. We didn't know anything about this. So the fact that vaccines are out there, we just take it, we just have to take advantage of it in hopes that class of 22, 23, 24, and those beyond have opportunities to do things, to celebrate the time that they've been, whether they're high school, whether they're graduating from 8th grade, high school, college, whatever it may be, they can enjoy what they have, so. See, I talk too much. <laughs> but, yeah, so the last thing I wanted to mention is tomorrow is Mother's Day, so make sure to spread some love to your mother, um, you know, do something today for, have ready for tomorrow, I'm not sure, but I hope that your, everyone, um, you know, has a great rest of your day, and if you're able to get vaccinated, get vaccinated, um, and if you're not, you're not, but, you know, just do your part, keep, keep moving forward, keep wearing a mask, keep distancing, keep sanitizing, um, keep washing your hands, you know, just, just keep doing what the CDC says, and keep following those guidelines, because eventually we will get back to some sort of normalcy, don't know when, but the fact that if we just keep pushing forward, and moving forward, and, and continuing to, um, listen to the CDC, listen to who, listen to everybody who's telling us what it is, then we are in good shape. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow then, and for Mother's Day special. Bye, see you then!